Hello everybody, I'm Boaz Fader, I'm an evolutionary astrologer and I'm here with the evolutionary astrology message for the week between the 17th and the 24th of June 2017. I'm here with Georgia, I don't know if you can see her in the frame, that's my cat that's sitting on me. <laughs> so <laughs> let's begin with the 17th. So the 17th, today we have the moon uh, conjunct Chiron squaring Saturn. And it's, the moon in, is in Pisces. And what does it all mean? Well, it's a sensitive day. It's a day that we're in touch with our own pains and with our own aches. And if we're sensitive enough and not too critical with that square to Saturn, not too cold or distant, and give us, ourselves and people around us enough, enough love and compassion, this could be a great day for healing. This, this could be a great day for tending those sore spots understanding our limitations as human beings and thus free ourselves from expectations that cannot uh, really exist in our lives and from uh, unnecessary stress and really bring healing to those places. Today, Mars starts an aspect to both Jupiter and Neptune. Now, I want to mention that, you know, during this week, we're going to get even more uh, uh, cancer energy in the sky. And it's a very melodramatic and it's a very emotional energy. It has its upsides, it has its less positive sides. But when Mars is starting to square Jupiter and trine Neptune, the positive aspects of it is that we can become much more creative and utilize our talents in a much better way, we could grasp um, the fruits of imagination and plant them firmly in the land of reality. We could utilize our own imaginations and our capability to fantasize in a way that is productive. But on the less positive side, we could be too dreamy and we could be too extravagant and we could be too hedonistic and want only to indulge ourselves and do things too extravagantly and in a big way. So what we need to do during this uh, period that goes up and really picks on the 25th of June is become more modest, is become more down to earth with what it is we are trying to achieve, our endeavors and our actions. So modesty and realism, coupled with that ability to reach into the realms of imagination and, 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 and touch the muses, can be a great influence for any creative project you right now are uh, involved in or would like to start. On the 18th of June, the moon is going to be in Aries and it's going to um, oppose Pluto in the evening time and night time in Europe and that's morning to noon time in the United States. That opposition can make us obsessive, can make us caprisic, can make us impulsive and can make us very dramatic. We have to watch that and detach ourselves just a little bit from our emotions and become more laid back and more um, logical. On the 20th, we begin two wonderful days that uh, begin with um, the Moon conjunct uh, Venus. Um, the Moon conjunct Venus is always a great time to celebrate life, to enjoy and satisfy yourself with the company of good people and uh, people you love and good drinks and good food. The sun is moving into Cancer on that day as well. So happy birthday, all you Cancers. And that heightens that melodramatic, um, nostalgic, emotional energy in the sky. And also, and that's very positive, Mercury is going to be in a state of Kazemi up to the 22nd, from the 20th to the 22nd. The 20th being especially powerful because Mercury in a state of Kazemi, that means it's conjunct the sun in the heart of the sun. Kazemi is the ancient term used by the uh, astrologers of old. And when Mercury is in the heart of the sun, this is a great time 
to pause and do a little ceremony or do a little meditation and really imagine and visualize how you would like your life to play out, how you would like your uh, next moves to actually play out on the ground of reality. In which subjects? Well, when Mercury is still in Leo, that's a, a, the strongest day of the tree. Um, you can uh, visualize about subjects con concerning your relationship with your children or with your parents, uh, your own creative process, your own identity and what it is you do in this world and create in this world who you are in this world and love how you would like your love to play out in this world to manifest itself in this world and when it goes into cancer on the 21st and on the 22nd more issues of uh, parenting of um, my relationship with my mother or my relationship with my children as a mother family and the all emotional inner world that I have inside the whole feminine side that each one of us has inside and how I deal with my own emotions so um, as I said the movement of the Sun into cancer and a day later the movement of mercury into cancer as well Mars being in cancer already a lot of emotions in the air and if maybe you've noticed that we became more sensitive and more nostalgic and we could get excited both positively and negatively over little things we could watch a Disney movie and start crying we could see a cute baby and and get very excited we could see a cute animal and and really you know be heart touched and we could get hurt very easily we could get upset very easily we could be more childlike. Cancer has a very childlike atmosphere and energy to it. And that brings me to the fact, you know, that when we have all this energy in the sky, we really want to cuddle and be in a place that we feel we belong in. We, can, we really want to be in the womb a little longer. And we could want to look at old albums and be very nostalgic regarding old foods and smells and reminisce about people that are no longer in our lives. And on the 23rd, why is that important? Because on the 23rd, we have a new moon in the second degree of Cancer. And the new moon in Cancer, first of all, every new moon is a new beginning. So around the new moon, a day before and a day after, as I always say, be mindful of your energies. And keep them as clean as possible. Don't let people upset you and don't get upset yourself. Don't sulk. Don't be negative. Don't be angry. Because that energy, or at least do everything you can not to be and remain positive. Because that energy can get stuck with you for the next 29 and a half days. The next lunar cycle. That new moon in the second degree of Cancer is going to conjunct series and oppose Saturn. And what is that all about? Well, the new moon in Cancer is about new beginnings in the realms of family, our emotional life, the way we are parenting or taking care of the nutrients we give and the, 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 the feeling of intimacy we have in our life, both with other people and within our own uh, secluded environment. How are we feeling within our own homes? And when I'm talking about our own homes, I'm talking about this home, first and foremost. So this new moon is all about emotional security. It's all about providing a, a, a state that is more emotionally secure for us. And... As I said, we could feel like we want to be cuddled and just stay in the womb a little longer, stay a child a little longer. We just, with that conjuncting to series, there's a lot about how much I'm giving and how much I'm getting. Am I giving too much to my environment and remaining depleted? Am I not getting enough? Am I getting too much and not giving enough? And the, the, the need for abundance is heightened. 
So we could be very childlike and very needy. And opposing that is Saturn, the cold judge, the old cold judge. Looking at that child with a cynical smile, a little mocking smile, and saying, really? And what that means is that if we want to heighten our own satisfaction in life, if we want to heighten our emotional security, if we want to pamper ourselves in a way that is valid, in a way that is sustainable, we have to do it responsibly and we have to understand that if we want to provide that kind of emotional warmth in our life, we have to be responsible and adult about things. This cannot be something that is not sustainable. This cannot be something that takes away from our family, that takes away from our home, that takes away from our parenting. This needs to be something that is positive and, and nourishing in the long run. And not only for ourselves, but for our close environment as well. If it's not feasible, if it's not sustainable, if it's not responsible, says Saturn, it cannot happen. And it will not uh, go on. Um, Mercury on the same on this in, in, in the same day, Mars is starting also in opposition to Pluto in a conjunction to Mercury. The opposition to Pluto is going to be at its height on July 2nd. And the conjunction to Mercury is going to be at its height on June 29th. Now, when we have a, a conjunction between Mercury and Mars, we could be very straightforward about the way, uh, uh, in the way we speak and about what we believe in. We could protect our own opinions very strongly. But, you know, our all, che all our system of checks and balances is really not that active. We could be much too, um, how you call it, um, um, I'm sorry, much, uh, we, we could really spill out things from our mouth that we haven't thought of before. And they could cause us to have some strife in our life or to hurt people around us. So it's, it could be um, a struggle and a conflict using words, uh, um, using um, words or, or written language. And we could find ourselves in, in arguments, a lot of arguments. The opposition to Pluto really brings a lot of emotions to the table, and I mean strong emotions that can overcome us. Emotions like anger, emotions like rage, emotions like envy, emotions like passion, emotions like um, like uh, you know, when this influence of having Pluto and, and, and Mars opposed can really bring up from the depth of us the darkest parts and if we are enlightened and evolved souls then we can have these experiences you know and feel that the world is a little bit of a battleground right now but we refrain from taking part in that war you know we refrain from taking part in those power struggles that come up in our life and we deflect them and we try to become communal leaders that take people under their wings instead of creating an opposition. But if we're not that enlightened and evolved, we could become very violent at this time. And we could try to assert our power and assert the things we believe in violently. So that can be in arguments or that can spill over to physical violence or even war. And that's not a good thing. So let's hope it remains only in the realms of thoughts and words. Um, this is a great time to learn how to cooperate. How to harness the power of many and cooperate. How to work with your environment. Uh, how to 
and passionately take out your actions in a way that is also uh, that involves also the people around you in a communal effort that's a, a positive aspect of this Mercury Mars and really to look deeply upon our actions and passions that's the positive ac uh, attribute of this opposition to Pluto and be changed by it and evolve on the 24th, the moon would still be in Cancer and it would uh, stand up in opposition to Pluto in the evening and nighttime in Europe and morning time and noontime in the States. So don't get carried away into dramas and uh, being a little obsessive and making mountains out of molehills. Just detach yourself a little bit from your emotions and become extra logical at that time. That's about everything I had to say about this week. I want to thank you for listening and, of course, for private consultations or uh, lessons or courses. You're more than welcome to contact me and I would love to hear what you think about this video in the comments below. Have a beautiful week. Bye-bye.